Uh, hello students, today you will learn how scientific research can be used in the field of social work. At the end of this session, you will learn to appreciate how social work research takes place, the scope of research in social work field and the different areas of social work research. Social work research can be defined as systematic investigation into the field of social work. Here, social workers would collect information, they would compile this information and they would look to make sense or understand this information which is analyze this information. The social, this information can then be used to create new programs, change the existing programs and also raise funds for new programs. Social work research mainly uses quantitative research methods, qualitative research methods or mixed methods. Quantitative research methods focus on explaining phenomena by collecting data which is either numeric or can be made into numeric methods and analyzing this data by using mathematics or statistical methods. Quantitative research is empirical, it tests hypothesis, it helps you understand relationships between two variables, it helps you make predictions and it has a very clear and fixed methodology. Here the results are objective, you, they are deductive and you can generalize these results. Let us take an example to understand this better. Suppose you want to understand the relationship between frequency of mentoring and uh, uh, the uh, extent of burnouts among counsellors. You could do it by claiming that the more frequent the mentoring meetings are held, the less the tendency for a counsellor to have burnout. This then you would set out to prove whether the claim that we have made in terms of the more frequent the uh, meeting, uh, frequ uh, mentoring meetings, the less the burnout, whether this is true or not. So we would collect data to prove this claim and then we would analyse it. You could do so by using a survey questionnaire. Okay, this is how quantitative research can be used in the field of social work. Qualitative research can also be used in the field of social work. Qu simplest definition of qualitative research is any research that uses data that does not include ordinal values, which is not numeric in nature. This is exploratory and inductive. It either defines or explains a problem it requires researchers to examine settings and people in a holistic manner. Methodology in this will develop as the research goes on. You don't have a predetermined clearly set out methodology and it is very subjective in nature. Here you explore for using the same example, you would explore the different aspects of mentoring which could help reduce burnout amongst counsellors. Uh, when we do research in the field of social work, normally we use what is called mixed methods. Here you mix a method strategically from both quantitative and qualitative research. Okay? You include issues and strategies from both aspects, especially in terms of data collection and data analysis. It's widely used because it gives you a whole picture of the setting. You would have both quantitative and qualitative data, so you get a complete idea of the research issue that you are researching. You can divide social work research into five different types broadly, okay? needs assessment, situational research or situational analysis, evaluation research, impact research and policy research. Needs assessment can be defined as a systematic ongoing process which will give information about the needs of the target pro uh, population to people who can and will make decisions that either impact the program or the policies related to the program. When you start a program or a project, an NGO can conduct a needs assessment to find out whether the community really needs the program you have in mind or to assess and find out that these are the needs of the community, therefore the program needs to be structured in a specific manner. It's also used by policy makers. Uh, to identify the needs so that they can develop policies for the different groups of people. Situational analysis focuses on investigating situations with all the subparts of a situation, their interlinkages so that information can be provided to decision makers once again to make either policies or programs. Okay? 
uh, normally you conduct a SWOT which is strength, weakness, opportunity and threat analysis as part of a situational analysis. Evaluation research is very simple as the name suggests. You look at evaluating a program or a project so that you can improve it, modify it or change it. Okay. The process in this can be very important and if you are looking at the process as well, then it is a qualitative research, not just a quantitative one. An impact assessment would be assessing the impact that you anticipate or the actual impact of any program or project or any intervention. This could look at socio-economic factors. Uh, at the environmental factors that the intervention is aimed at. Uh, it could be on a project that has already been initiated. It could be on a project, you could plan it for the project that you are initiating. So, you would impact it at the, uh, you test the impact at the end. Or it could be a continuous uh, project as well. So, like an evaluative research, this could be quantitative, qualitative or could use mixed methods. Uh, participatory impact is increasingly becoming popular in the field of social work where the beneficiaries are participants in the entire research process. They co-own the research. You can learn more about participatory research and participatory action research in a much later module. The fifth uh, type of research is policy research which seeks to uh, inform and influence policies so that lives of beneficiaries and people for whom the policy is designed is bettered. Now we move on to the stages of social work research. Like any research, there are eight stages. Okay, first you identify the problem, then you conduct a literature review, then you formulate the problem or research question or statements and our hypothesis if it's a quantitative research, you decide the methodology, you write your research proposal, you collect your data, you interpret the data and you write the research report. Module 1, which you have already gone through, deals with each of these stages in a great detail. And Module 4 and 5 will talk about how you write uh, a literature review and how you write a research proposal. Now we come on to the different types of documents that you have in social work research. There are many and we are going to talk about a few. Please realize that these are not exhaustive and there are other aspects. What are the uh, documents we are going to talk about? process documentation, needs assessment reports, evaluation reports, impact assessment reports, desk researches, survey reports, case studies and monthly, quarterly or annual reports. Okay. Uh, first is process documentation. In this, you write down the entire process of what has been done. Your focus is on process. So, if you have a project, uh, you note down everything how that you are doing, how you are doing it. So, it is useful when you have an action component to it, when you are doing a new project that nobody has done before. So, then somebody else can take this project on, follow all your steps and do it. Needs assessment uh, reports are based on needs assessment researches. They provide the dog, uh, org uh, organization with a clear picture of the needs of the beneficiaries and how you need to plan programs for them. Evaluation research reports are obviously based on evaluation researches. They focus on presenting results as well as suggestions for improving the project or the issue that is being evaluated. Impact assessments focus on understanding effects of a policy program on multiple stakeholders. Here you would look at more than one stakeholder and when you are writing it up, for, uh, for example, you would look at your uh, beneficiaries definitely, but also at all your social workers, your team that is implementing the project, their views on the impact and how the project has impacted are equally important. When you write it up, you could have different chapters for each group of respondents. So, you would have separate chapters on direct beneficiaries and other stakeholders. The next point is uh, the desktop research. This is basically uh, data, secondary data that you are looking at, data that is already existing, data that is found in print media or on the internet and you would analyze this. So, that is a desktop research, it is also known as a secondary research report. Survey reports come from the survey design which is basically a quantitative research. 
it looks at uh, data that you've collected from respondents and you're analyzing it. Case study reports are essentially qualitative in nature. They focus on telling a story of a person, a group or an organization. It's based on the perceptions of the people and their memories. It's a very qualitative uh, report. Finally, we come on to monthly, quarterly and annual reports. These are internal reports that are created by an organization to provide data about the programs that an organization carries out. The formats are predetermined by the organization itself. Focus of these reports are to give a kind of snapshot or a picture of the work that's being done by the organization. These are used for funding, to get funding on existing programs, to initiate new programs and also to provide a, a, a picture of how the organization is growing and developing. Social work research has many, many uses. Okay? We can test or validate uh, a hypothesis, test knowledge, test hypothesis. You can uh, show whether a concept is true or not. So validating concepts or theories. You can build new theories. You can identify new resources and needs of people. You can evaluate programs. You can assess impact of programs or policies. You can learn about pro problems faced by different groups such as beneficiaries, social workers, stakeholders. These are some of the ways you can use research in social work. Broad areas for social work research can include child welfare where all children's issues, uh, child rights, child protection. You can look at vulnerable, vulnerable groups of children. You can look at women's issues and women's welfare. You can look at youth and youth issues. You can look at el elderly and issues related to aging. You can look at welfare of differently abled groups and issues related to them. Uh, vulnerable groups such as girls, uh, SCSTs, tribals and issues related to them. Gender issues is an entirely, uh, entirely new area of research and social work area, uh, research. Rural development issues can be looked on development of communities and issues related to them, health, poverty elevation, juvenile delinquency, crime and correction and legal aspects, social welfare research and policies, industrial social work, disaster management, ecological issues and sustainable development issues, housing rights, issues related to advocacy and networking, practice based research, the list is endless. This is just a small sample of issues that you can look at within the social work field. Um, you can also look at individuals, families, groups, communities and organizations within each of these above uh, mentioned issues. To summarize, this uh, uh, module, this presentation focuses on what social work research is. So social work research is a systematic process which involves collection of data, analyzing it so that social workers can provide better services and programs to their beneficiaries and do so in a more effective manner. Social work research can make of use of qualitative, quantitative or mixed methods. Uh, stages are same as in any other research. There are many different types of social work research and research reports. Choice of research and research report should be made based on the topic that is being researched, on based on the goals and aims of the research project. The areas of social work research can emerge from the different settings of social work profession as well as the various groups with whom social work profession intervenes. I hope that you have a good idea of how social work research can help you do your work better. Thank you so much.